Susie, of course. Life wouldn't be the same without Susie over in uh, Dictionary Corner, along with psychologist, author and podcaster and a great friend of the show, Dr Linda Papadopoulos. The last uh, four days. Fantastic. Oh, Trish, sorry, you need to ask. But... We must have had Rachel on the mind because we thought of epidural, <laughs> didn't we? <Yes>. Epidural. <laughs> <laughs> More sevens? Very good. Define the six, same as deify. Very good, yes, well spotted. Cholera. Cholera. Linda. Well, using the same letters, we got choral, uh, C-H-O-R-A. Hymn tune. Um, that was our best one. <laughs> to do on that. Any advance on six? So, um, we thought that Victorian might be there with a small V, but mm. sadly it wasn't. But Victoria is um, on its own, and it's a light four-wheeled horse-drawn carriage named after Queen Victoria. A Victoria. Great over the last few days. It's wonderful. And today? Today I thought about trying to kind of talk about what a bad mood is and how to snap out. Here's the interesting thing. They've been doing some research out of Harvard recently looking at bad moods, and they found that we're much more likely to be in a bad mood when our mind is unfocused. So when our mind kind of jumps from one thing to another. So it's not so much the first thing is to fix it, and if not, try and fake it. So I think, you know, try to engage in behaviors that don't bad mood, you don't want to speak to people, you don't really want to, you know, read an interesting story or a good book, do the opposite. Fake it. Act like you're okay, you know. Read that book, listen to that song, speak to that person. In fact, as is the case with confidence, when you fake it, you eventually make um, One of my favorite things is, is learning how to be grateful. Now, I speak about being grateful a lot, and I think the, the reason that this is so powerful is because it changes the way we think. If I ask you to you know, spend the rest of the day looking for three things to feel grateful for, and it can be something small, like someone holds a door open for you or you manage to catch, is it means you're going through life looking for what's working rather than what's... The power of perception is the only power we have, so if we want to be happier, that's what we have to use. <laughs> out of to it. kind of like, yeah. Without losing <laughs> face. Um, mosh, to mosh is in there. Um, Ryan to dance to rock music in a violent manner. Um, but no mosh. So what can you have? Well, that leaves us with musher. Musher. Which will make Ryan sick, yes. Musher at the corner. Um, we got a couple of sevens. We got nitrate and natir. I think Rachel's beaten us all. We did. We found vintage. We got the V. Uh, mintage is also there. The number of copies issued of a particular... Over in the corner, Linda and Susie, what have you cooked up between... Yeah, it was tricky, this one. A macule is an area of skin discoloration, um, and it comes from macula, meaning stain, so an immaculate person is without stain. <laughs> we managed a seven with petally. Petally, yes. Yeah. So he, he replied petally, or he rather petally took it back, that kind of thing. That's it? Yes. Thank you. Both excellent. Yes, very, very good. good. Seven with airsome. Yes, it's a Canadian word, this one. If the weather is airsome, it's cold and bracing. A little bit windy, perhaps. Isn't it? You very use that airsome. at home? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Let's do it. You enjoyed it? Too. Let's, let's Positive put a... thinking, remember? <laughs> it's very soon again. Monday, Susie. Okay. All right. Yeah, 